So Bitcoin, $37,000. Feels like just yesterday that Bitcoin was at 5,500 and I was considering buying it. I mean, Neo stock, the electric Chinese electric car maker, uh, delivering what, like a couple thousand cars a month. It's like 10,000 cars a quarter or something with a 80, 80, 90 billion dollar market cap. Went from almost bankrupt like last year, three dollars a share to 40 something dollars a share. I mean, Tesla's an awesome, an awesome company and it's amazing, but it's still in growth mode. And I mean, Tesla, I think is going to take over the world, but still in growth mode, it, growth mode, it's barely squeaking by profits um, because it's just, they're putting so much money into CapEx and everything. Um, but it's almost has a valuation like Apple or like Google, like it's basically closing in on a trillion dollar valuation trillion dollar valuation for a company that's like growing, you know, like, and just the stocks or the stock market is just, just going absolutely nuts. Bitcoin's going absolutely nuts. Like, and what I was going to say about this is that like, it seems like we're just headed towards this massive, like hyperinflation moment. Like you got the fed just pumping money in with just tiny interest rate, just no interest, small interest rates and just all this cheap money and, all these stimulus packages, just a oh, trillion dollar stimulus package. Oh, give every American $2,000. And just like this money is just flying off this printing press, you know? And it's just like, it just seems like we're just, holy shit. Like, where's all this money coming from, right? Um, and real estate prices are going up in most areas quite a bit. And this is all during this pandemic right so it's like where the heck are we getting these valuations from like where like how are these com- companies this valuable like people are becoming millionaires off just buying stocks and like having stock in this co- in these companies that you know this is this is absurd this is insane um but the the one the point of this video one thing i was going to say is like the um at least here in my market the real estate valuations, they seem like they're, to me, they're the only thing that's like, that has, that's tangible, like the equity everybody has in their houses. Um, that seems real. That seems like it makes sense because uh, my market is the Wasatch Front uh, here in Utah. And Utah is one of the fastest growing states in the nation. And over the last decade has been the fastest growing state in the nation. Um by percentage, not by overall growth uh, in total numbers, but by percentage. And there is absolutely a housing shortage. Uh, Houses and apartment complexes and condos are flying up all over the Wasatch Front. um, And we just can't build fast enough. Uh, The rental market is is really hot right now. So the supply and demand definitely supports why, you know, real estate prices are going up through the Wasatch Front. So I I mean, if you're going to put your money somewhere, I'm, I'm, you know, I am sold on real estate. I mean, that could depend on if you're in like this little ghost town, town that has oil drying up or something or like oil rigs shutting down in it or just a little old school town. It may be different, but in most major metropolitan areas, um, yeah, real estate just seems like just the place to put your money because it's just, it's it's a supply and demand issue. And if you think about it too, like think about the youth today, like all the young people, the millennials and Gen Z, like think about how unskilled they are, how, how, I mean, it's like, they're all just smartphone addicted, just staring at computer screens. They don't have any skills, almost any work ethic. It seems like, um, in general, And it's just like, where is this labor workforce going to be coming from that's going to like build all these houses for all these people? It's not. It's not coming. And so it's just like the housing shortage, the differential between available housing to population growth just seems like it's something that where money and real estate actually makes sense, actually seems real. Um, Money and stocks right now. Holy shit, dude. It seems like that uh, that bubble's about to pop. And um, 
yeah, if you became a millionaire uh, with Tesla stock, if you made boatloads of money off this insane run up, like at some point you've got to you've got to consider taking your profits and running, like because I think it's coming down.